so I'm not going to go too far away, but just for now, so long, folks!
pockets to be full of gold. I didn't kill that. 
that nasty fly. But I did break Grandma's jaw, and the doctor couldn't mend it, so I won't do that no more. But I couldn't help it, could I? No, I couldn't. It were accident. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Chief, I'm in, I'm in Hawkins. Well, madam, I happen to be the most important person in town. Not to mention, of course, the richest. Anyway, maybe I could show you around. Maybe dinner, theatre, and who knows? I'm Larry Longhorn, Cattle Baron, and owner of the Lazy Love Ranch. Fanny Folkley, your new sheriff. Where? Right here, me, of course. Uh, but you're, uh, you're, uh, I'm speechless. And so you should be. I got here in record time. Sure was above your stagecoach, though. <clears throat> but you're, you're, uh, this is outrageous. I'm going to speak to the mayor. He can smooth this out. Golly, folks around here sure do worry about a girl's comfort. Anyhow, best I find me some lodgings to sort out this new job of mine. Fanny? Fanny Folkley, is that you? Blair, great to see you. And you, you're looking a little loose. Why are you here? Didn't you get my wire? I sure did. No, I sent a second wire. Are you kidding me? I was so excited about the first one, I packed my suitcases, ran all the way to the stagecoach, and here I am. Good, but there's something I should tell you. Okay, just as long as you know I am the happiest girl in the world right now, and there ain't nothing you can say that can change that. Good. You can't. Unless, of course, you're telling me I can't be the new sheriff. At which point I sink into a deep, dark depression. I probably end up killing myself. Oh. You were saying? You can't. You can't. You can't go back now. You've got this great new job opportunity. Tell you what, why don't you go check out the jailhouse? It's over that way. That's a swell idea, Lil. I'll do just that. Good afternoon, Lil. Who's the little lady over yonder? Come back the job. Your job? Yeah. The orphanage. They need to do a new girl to teach English. So she's their latest assistant. Well, we better introduce ourselves. Hey, come on in back at the saloon. Well, very good afternoon to you, madam. I'm Horace Johnson, the mayor, and this here's Nat West, he's the banker. <laughs> yes, I'll repeat that at dictation speed, the banker. Yes, and uh, I understand you're here to teach our little uh, devils a thing or two. I sure am, and I intend to do what I can. Well, of course, as mayor, I'm the only one who can grant you a work permit, young lady. And it just so happens I got one here, right in the pocket. You see that? Right in the pocket. <laughs> 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 and there's the banker. I set the wages. Shall we say, uh, Two dollars a day plus expenses. Sounds good to me. Well, can you sign on the dotted line? Just here. I'm keen to make a start right away. And if well, I don't want to listen? Then I'll have to make an example. Such as? Shoot a few of them. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot a few of them. <laughs> it's the only way to learn. Don't you think that's a little bit of screw? Boy, you sure had an easy touch. But I like your style. Those little farmers need someone strict in charge. Here's your work permit. You might as well go over and start straight away. Yes, you'll know the building. It's the one over yonder that all the shouting and the hollering comes from every day. All oh, those little tearaways are gonna keep you busy. Don't you worry, I know the place you mean. I'll keep a lid on things. You can count on me. <laughs> That's what I call cute. Well, did you meet the new girl in town? We sure did. She's got a cheek. She sure has. You told her where, <laughs> you told her where to go, I hope. We sure did. Feeling mighty pleased with yourself, since you had to send her on her way with a tail between her legs. On the contrary, after listening to her, I hired her on the spot. And I told her to start straight away. But she's only the slip of a girl. How's she going to... Uh, handle those desperados. Oh, she'll do all right. If you won't put no trouble at all, she'll probably make them stand in the corner. Stand in the corner? <laughs> put, put a few of them across the knee for a good spanking. <laughs> put a few of them across the knee for a good spanking? Or oh, she'll keep them behind for detention. Yeah. Detention? What makes you think that's their behind for detention? Most of them are going to be drunk out of their minds. What? Are you saying that the kids are turning up at school drunk? Kids? What kids? All about you hiring the girl as sheriff. Sheriff? What, 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 what sheriff? Look, 
did you or did you not tell me you hired that girl a shirt? Uh, no, I didn't. Yes, did I? Yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Well, all right, then I did. <laughs> but only a little bit. What have I done? Don't worry, it's nothing that can't be undone. You'll just have to tell her it's been a, a big mistake and uh, talk to her gently and then sack her. Tell her it's a zero hours contract or something. <laughs> I'm sure she won't make a fuss. But uh, what if she's really feisty? Well, then give her a glass of water. Then tell her she's fired. She can't have caused any problems by now anyway. Where is she? Well, I told her to go over to the building where all the shouting and the hollering comes from every day.
speaking of stray strangers, looks like Diamond Lil stray strangers back. So, what's it going to be, partner? I, I have a chalk steak. A chalk steak? Oh, what? What a chalk steak, Floyd! <laughs> You want a chug steak? Yeah. <laughs> One chug steak. What else do you recommend? I recommend you have the chicken. How do you prepare them? I just come straight out of it and I say you're going to die. <laughs> I need your washroom, Chuck. Throw up, I mean, wash up in. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Rosie Eaters, you know, it's out back. Oh, go on, get out of it. Oh, good morning, Mr. Mayor. I must say, that is a mighty fine pair of balls you have there, sir. Half <laughs> <laughs> tricks. Well. <laughs> Things are a bit complicated, I don't know. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I am! You want a rough shack? No, no, it's just time neutral elastic! Yes, I am. 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 Y
and show you the rest of your town. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's go now. This way, boy. I hope that new sheriff to watch his back. Oh, we'll be looking for a new, new sheriff. Now then, boys, you don't want to be talking like that. What you want to do, I get your hands off. What you want to do is try one of my apple pies. I'll bake some fresh this morning. They're made with fresh farm apples and extra spicy cloves. Mm. They're lovely.